Hi, my name is Annette Evans. I'm here with ConcealedCarry.com. I've got Neil Hogue here of Hogue Grips. And as you all know, favorite color, purple. But Hogue's got some really great products for concealed care that we wanted to show you. So Neil, tell me about what this is. Sure, well these are our new precise fit beaver tail grip sleeves. Uh, rubber over, or just the, the rubber grip sleeve. They've got the high beaver tail area here, gives you a little more control, a little bit of recoil absorption. It keeps the grip from rotating around. These newer style sleeves are a little bit thicker than the original, more universal ones. So they're a little bit difficult to get on, more difficult than the past ones. But once they're on there, they're extremely secure. Kind of relate it to tires on your car. Okay, they're really hard to get on, but you don't want them falling off, right? Um, so it also gives you the palm swell and the finger groove and uh, precisely made for the specific firearm. So this is for the M&P 9 Shield. We've got one for the 45 Shield, and just kind of as we go down the road here, we've got the different models. So these sound like they're really great if you like those little micro guns for concealability, but your hands are just a little bit too big to make them comfortable. That's, that's correct. Well, some of these guns too are, you know, like this brand new uh, Glock 43 and 42 model. That grip frame is so small to start with. This gives you a lot better control, especially with that finger groove. And then for the kind of the double stack stubby guns, you know, you got a, a, a lot of recoil here and kind of hard to hold on to. It's so short, so that helps out a lot. Awesome. You can see we've got six different colors. You can get them in any various colors. Including the important color, purple. Of course, of course, got you covered. <laughs> I was so excited when you started making purple products a couple years back, and it's a really nice purple too. Thank you. Now, what else do you have for the concealed carry market? Uh, we do have uh, some different G10 grips, Let's go take and a look. we've got a new Kimber Micro Grip as well. Awesome. Let's so go take we can a look start over, over there. there. So you were just starting to talk about those Kimber Micro Grips, the G10 grips, and we're over here with them now. Of course, this is in purple. Tell me about these and why I might want to put them on my micro. Uh, so we've got different various colors and textures so you can kind of customize your grip the way that you like it. We've got them for the Micro 9 and uh, the Micro 380. We've also uh, got a new feature here. This is an extended mag base that is rubber overmolded. Okay. So we do have a rubber grip model too. It's on a different display gun, but this gives you an extra place for your pinky finger and that rubber uh, area down here to help control the recoil. Yeah, uh, we do mold them in purple as well. Excellent. And I see that this one has a really, really aggressive grip texture, and I'm sure that helps with recoil management. That's correct. That's correct. Now, with the aggressive textures for concealed carry, sometimes, you know, if it's up against your skin of your body, it might be a little aggressive. What you can do is you can take sandpaper to this material and smooth it down to your desired like, and then re-oil it. Okay. So um, the G10 really helps you do that. You can control hot spots or anything like that. So you're not stuck with the super aggressive, or maybe it's ripping up your hands too much, and you can just... That. That's right. Or like, you know, if you have this side against your body, you can smooth that one up a little bit and then the side where your hand is really gripping, keep that more aggressive. I like that. Now, what about for our viewers who don't shoot semi-automatic guns? Do you have a solution for them as well? I do. I do. We have a Kimber K6 revolver grip over here in G10. It's our brand new G10 grip for the Kimber K6. This one's in smooth right now in a red lava material. Uh, we have them in various different colors. And uh, you can also get them with the texture on there. Awesome. And I know you've got some rubber grips for revolvers as well. We do. So this is our Smith & Wesson J-Frame uh, revolver grip. This one has our laser incorporated into it. So if you look on this side, you've got the laser housing right here. Okay. So that gives you, the activation is right on the front. It gives you the point to control the laser, and of course, in your favorite color. This one's specifically for the uh, Smith & Wesson J-Frame. Now the laser is, the hub is mounted to the gun frame one time. You slide the grip over it. So to change the batteries, you slide the grip off, change the batteries, slide it back on. You don't ever have to recite the gun in. Easy. And this, co this comes in both the laser grip model and no laser grips. That's correct. Depending That's on what you're looking for. That's correct. Awesome. So this is our brand new rubber grip for the Kimber Micro 9. Uh, and you can see it's got the matching mag base for it. So again, you get the comfortable rubber grip, the finger groove, palm swell, and then the mag base. You can get, uh, those are sold individually, so you can get as many as you like for to cover all your magazines. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you.